So we're out here today digging potatoes in uh, an old-fashioned kind of a way. These are like lazy bed drills that have been very common in Ireland at one time. Um, they're a really good way to, to get potatoes started on bare soil or on bare turf on lawn. So what you need is a couple of wheelbarrows full of manure. You lay it down flat in a big line, straight as you can. Mine's a bit wobbly here. Um, and then what I've done is I've gone, I've gone round under, first of all, tight to the manure pile underneath with the spade. And I've cut along a line to free up the sod. Then I've done a line outside of that. I've gone around in a big circle, all the way around it for a second time. Um, and now what you see me doing is I'm going back through and I'm chopping up the sod into more manageable pieces because uh, I'm going to be using it to, to earth up these Satanta main crop potatoes. So these these have been chitting in the polytunnel, just in the bag. Um, sometimes I chit them in um, egg boxes, but these are just chitted in the bag and they seem to be okay. They're a little bit sprouted. Um, usually you want the chits, whoops, usually you want the chits to be um, a bit more like the one on the left, in my right hand, that one there, that's more what you like, but I have some of them that are a bit more tubery than that, but that's fine. So, about a foot apart, so I'm just going to use my Wellington to walk down about 15 inches or so, so a foot and a bit uh, apart in the drill. So it's quite a wide spacing, um, but you'll see like I'm, I'm doing this quite a few times today. So when all the potatoes are in, the, tube, the, the new parts of the spuds, the, the, the growth is going to point towards the sky and any bits are going to shape, roots are going to go towards the ground. I use my trusty mattock, um, probably my favourite tool for working in the garden because I'm doing a lot of this kind of uh, lawn to food conversion. And so a mattock is just one of those tools that I reach for more often than not. But you can see with the work of the spade in first slicing through the soil, the mattock just is enough to lift the sod up in one big easy easy clump. So the first row is being used to cover the spuds and then the second row will go on top of that. There's a lot of these um, cockchafer bugs are called. They grow into like a flying beetle, absolutely enormous. Um, and they don't really seem to do much harm, but uh, I don't like them in the garden. They're gross, number one. And also I, I think they, they're probably gonna eat roots and things like that there and healthy plants. And so they live there under the grass, just in the root zone. In that larval state, they seem to be um, perfectly designed for chewing through plant roots. And so I just throw them over onto the path um, as little bits of uh, a treat for the blackbirds or the robins or magpies, whoever's hanging about that's gonna it's gonna mop those up. So that's what the finished one looks like. It's like a furrow that a plow would make, but made by made by hand. So all I needed was a wheelbarrow, a pitchfork, a big pile of manure, some seed potatoes, a spade, and a mattock. And I'm going to do another one right here. <laughs> 